Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today's a big day. The Galaxy S22 series by Samsung is finally released. And as someone with experience in the business, I thought I'd give you guys a quick tour of the phones and then talk about some of the promotions that are going on and uh, maybe a little personal recommendation. So let's get started. <music> So first we have the S22 series. This is the, uh, this is the regular S22. I call it the baby of the bunch. Then you get the uh, S22 Plus and then the S22 Ultra. Now some of the main differences between these three models is gonna be battery life and battery size, camera and camera quality in terms of zoom uh, and charging speeds this year. So. The S22 regular charges at 25 watts, up to 25 watts, whereas the Plus and the Ultra charge at up to 45 watts. Now, one other thing that's really important to keep in mind is battery size. On the S22, you're at 3,700 milliamp hours. S22 Plus, you're at 4,500 milliamp hours. And S22 Ultra is at 5,000. So, just for that reason alone, I wouldn't necessarily recommend getting the S22 regular unless you're a stickler for the size of the phone and you have to have the smallest possible device. Then by all means, sure, go for it. But the S22 Plus and Ultra are gonna have much better battery life and a much better charging experience. And if you step up to the Ultra, you're also getting 12 gigs of RAM instead of eight. So if you're a power user, uh, that may be important for you. And all three of these phones now support Wi-Fi 6E, which is really only gonna matter if you have really fast internet at home, like over gigabit per a second speeds. And uh, colors this year, just to give you a quick look at those, we've got burgundy, green, pink, black, and white. Now, uh, the burgundy color is only available in the Ultra, uh, and the green color is only available in the S22 and S22 Plus this year. So uh, there's a quick look at the colors and uh, we'll take a look at the back of these phones. So on the uh, S22 regular and the S22 Plus, you get a triple camera setup uh, that can zoom in uh, digitally up to 30 times and optically up to three times. Whereas on the Ultra, if you're like a camera fanatic or something like that, you're gonna wanna go with this guy because that bottom lens there that's getting a little shiny from the light in the ceiling, that's a periscope camera that can uh, optically zoom in up to 10 times and digitally zoom in up to 100. Now, when you get up to 100 zoom, I'd say anything above 30 really isn't the greatest quality imaginable. Uh, so, but it still makes a big difference. Having that 10 times zoom, you can zoom in really, really far. So let me just give you guys a quick, uh, quick little demonstration here. So we'll go into the camera. And uh, here is, this phone is, this phone is really big and hard to hold on to. Anyway, uh, that's one thing to keep in mind as well. But here's the ultra wide camera, the one time zoom, three time zoom, and the 10 time zoom. And then you can, uh, we'll zoom in on that transformer up there. All right, so there's a hundred times zoom. And you do get the viewfinder in the upper uh, right corner or upper left corner there that's really helpful. So there's that transformer at a hundred times zoom. That is pretty impressive, and wow, that uh, that transformer is not in great shape, is it? But yeah, so the hundred times zoom is impressive. Photo quality is not going to be the greatest at that zoom level, so you know, don't think you're going to be putting Picasso quality pictures up. Uh, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so now that we've taken a quick look at all three of the phones and a uh, really quick look at some of the features and ups and downs of them. We're gonna do an unboxing of this guy right here. This is the S22 Plus. Uh, and yeah, like I said, we're gonna do an unboxing and take a look at what it's like to open it up for the first time. All right, so let's unbox the Galaxy S22. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna open it up and uh, see what the unboxing experience looks like for the S22 Plus. All right, let's open this guy up. Ta-da! And then here, oh, I have it upside down. 
All right, here is the S22 Plus. This is the uh, green color. And uh, as you can see, the uh, plastic wrap is still on it, but you can kind of see the green up there. All right, so now that we've had a chance to uh, look at the different models in person and unbox one of them, I thought it'd be uh, good and helpful for some people to compare and contrast the deals between the top three major carriers uh, here in the US. So I think what you're gonna find is some of the best deals are probably gonna be with Verizon. So let's look uh, strictly at the S22 Ultra because I think that's gonna be the phone that most people are gonna jump on and, and purchase. So <clears throat> starting with Verizon, uh, for a new line of service, there's a buy one, get one deal where you can get up to $1,000 off uh, with select unlimited plans. So when they say select unlimited plans, they're gonna be talking about Verizon's premium unlimited plans, which include uh, do more, get more, and play more. Uh, I'm a little, did those a little bit out of order. It's actually play more, do more, and get more are the order you'll see them in. So uh, clicking select details here, uh, buy the S20, uh, buy the Galaxy S21, S21 Plus, or S21 Ultra, Z Fold or Z Flip, which are Samsung's folding phones, uh, and get up to $1,000 off another. So keep in mind, a couple things to keep in mind, you're going to be on a premium unlimited plan, which are a little bit more expensive than the base model uh, plan, which is Start Unlimited. And you're gonna be signing a 36 month installment agreement for the phone. So it's not a contract per se, but if you do decide to leave Verizon, you're gonna be paying off the remaining uncredited balance of the phone, meaning you're gonna lose part of your promo. That's not unique to Verizon though. Most carriers price them out that way and have the same terms for their lease uh, payment agreements. It's not a lease. Uh, so let's look at, uh, now let's say you don't need a new line of service. Let's say you just want to buy one phone and you're a new customer. They also have a thousand dollar, up to a thousand dollar trade-in promotion, <clears throat> and some of the terms are going to be familiar for this one too. So get up to a thousand dollars off this device when you trade in new line required. So for this particular promotion, if you're opening a new line of service, trading in select older phones is gonna get you up to $1,000. And again, this is gonna depend on your plan. Uh, so uh, for most of these trade-in promotions, you have to be on a premium unlimited plan. Again, meaning play more, do more, or get more unlimited. So right there, you got your select unlimited and uh, trade in your old device within 30 days of purchase. And they do provide you the shipping material to send back your old phone, or if you do it in a store, they'll take it right there generally. So uh, let's take an example. So most people upgrade their phones every two to three years. So a phone from two years ago is gonna be like the Galaxy S10. So like, let's say you have a Galaxy S10, uh, just to do a little quick test experiment here or even a Note 20. My wife just traded in her Note 20 5G and that qualifies for the $1,000. Uh, and uh, also on another promo you'll see in a few minutes here, uh, there's an upgrade promo where you can get up to $1,000 as well. So you'll see that in just a minute. Let's look at a slightly older phone though. Let's say you have a Samsung S8. <clears throat> might take me a second here to find it in this trade-in list. S20, S7, S8. Okay, let's say you have a Galaxy S8. That's still going to get you a promotion, but it's not going to be the full thousand. So just keep in mind, slightly older phones are probably going to get a less value. Let's try the S9. S9 gets you 800. So, you know, you got to remember that uh, the older back your phone goes, the less likely you are to hit that full thousand. Generally, it's going to be a phone from within the last one to two years on these trade-ins. So, uh, and then there's another little side promo here. If you want a connected device like a uh, watch, uh, there is a little bit of a savings on those right now if you do them with the phone. So let's check the upgrade promos. So there's a buy one, get one. Obviously, uh, those are going to be pretty much the same terms as we just saw. And then trade in and save up to a thousand with 5G get more. So let's look at the details on that and see if it's similar. <clears throat> So 
so let's check one of these cheapo phones first. 350, okay. So that's actually just about as much as that, oh, actually more than that phone was worth new. So that's pretty impressive. Let's try an S9 or an S8 and just see if it matches up with the new line promo. Here's the S10. So yep, S10 gets you the full thousand. And one more here, S8, 350. And S9, there we go, full thousand. So yeah, the terms on the upgrade trade-in promo are gonna be very similar. So now that we've taken a look at some of the Verizon deals, let's check AT&T. Galaxy S22 Ultra up to $800 off. Uh, that's not as good as Verizon. That's kind of kind of bad. Uh, it'll get you the entry level phone for free, but you're still going to be paying the difference on the S22 Plus and regular if this is the promo you go with. Uh, so you'll need to, it says limited time offer. You will need to purchase an eligible smartphone on a qualifying installment plan. So again, qualifying installment plan is a key term here you're gonna have to pick one of AT&T's higher unlimited plans like their Elite, uh, and I think they call their mid-tier one plus. <clears throat> uh, and you'll get up to $800 in bill credits. So again, it's it's the trade-in promo that you're getting is gonna be spread out on bill payments, and AT&T uh, also now does 36 month installment agreements. And then let's take a look at the T-Mobile one. So the T-Mobile one's pretty similar to Verizon's, it looks like. Galaxy S22 Ultra, $1,000 off. New and existing customers get 1,000 off the S22 Ultra via 24 month bill credits. So <clears throat> it looks like one uh, difference in their promo is that they're doing it via 24 months instead of 30. Uh, I'm sure they'll be following the rest soon though. Uh, it kind of seems to be the way things go in the business. So new and existing customers get $1,000 off the Galaxy S22 via 24 month bill credits when you trade in an eligible device and have or switch to Magenta Mac. So again, for this promo, you're gonna have to be on a higher tier unlimited plan to qualify. 